Let's talk about sturgeon and the maybe potential shutdown of sturgeon fishing and yeah. regulations. Yeah. We've got a lot going on, Jason. I, I tell you, the white sturgeon fishery is under full attack right now. It's under attack by individuals, a few individuals that represent fishermen. There's only a few. There's not many. There's only a few that really represent the fishing community that are really advocating for hard reduction in harvest or a full catch and release fishery. There's also some environmental groups and people out there that are fighting to shut the fishery down completely. The state of California responded to all of these inquiries from some of these individuals and they started a public process last year. In May, we had a public information meeting by the department on white sturgeon to which they then formed a committee. And on that sturgeon committee, they were designed to represent a broad range of diverse people. They had some people on it and I'll tell you who they were. One person was Roy Davis from Sturgeon Hunter's Facebook page, okay. claiming to represent 15,000 sturgeon anglers. One was Zach Medinas from Gate Crashers, representing himself and his and, and Captain Virginia works for their for their Gate Crasher. Number three was Andrea Schrieber from UC Davis, representing scientists as a geneticist. Number four was uh, his name was John, Dr. John Rosenfeld from San Francisco Baykeeper. And then there was myself, James Stone from NorCal Guides and Sportsman's Association, and then six CDFW employees. On the first meeting, the first piece of business I said is you are not representing everyone in the fishing community. Number one, you need to represent the bait and tackle store manufacturers and how they are affected. I recommended Glenn Chineris from Big Red Worm Company to be on that board. Number two, you are not representing people west of Carquinas Bridge, and you therefore need to represent somebody that is on the GGFA board, to which James Smith, Captain James Smith, the California Dawn, ended up getting that seat and started attending all of those meetings, starting at meeting number two. And third, I said, you're not representing the average recreational angler. You need to get somebody on there that truly represents the recreational angler. So that committee went throughout the summer, okay? okay? And that committee was designed to work on regulations set forth for 2025, which we're still working on. On meeting number nine, I pissed off a lot of the people on that committee because they said they were offended by my comments and they said that I was misrepresenting the ways that they were talking in the committee and the things that they were saying. I will tell you once and once and for all, there was only two individuals fighting for harvest of sturgeon and to keep the sturgeon fishery open and that was James Smith and James Stone. And we were the only two on that committee that were fighting for people to retain the right to harvest a sturgeon until you show enough real science that is peer reviewed that can show that we need to manage the fishery differently. The truth is folks, the truth, you want it? Follow me on my podcast, Sportsman's Truth. You can follow me on my podcast and hear the truth on there. Find it on Spotify, thanks for the plug there, but I wanna tell you that here's the truth. The truth is, is that our abundance, we don't know what it is, Jason. We don't know where it's at, bro. They're saying it's 33,000, but it could be 100,000. They're saying that it could be 10,000. They don't know. Well, if it's 10,000 fish, Jason, then 4% exploitation would be 400 fish we should harvest over that. They're saying it's 33,000, so we could be able to harvest 1,300. That's what the state's saying, okay? But if it's 100,000, bro, then we can harvest 4,000 fish, and we're still not hurting the fishery. So, they don't know what that is, and I've called them out, I've told them the truth, and people are making decisions based on emotions rather than making decisions based on science and common sense, and I'm calling it out, and people don't like it, okay? I'm here fighting for the fisheries just like you and all of us, and we've got to be united. We've got to come together. We're under the umbrella of NorCal Guides and Sportsmen's Association fighting for your right for sturgeon and leading that fight. But people need to recognize that you've got to disconnect from the politics, disconnect from the emotions, and let's do what's right. If the fishery's hurting, I'll be the first to advocate to close it if that's what's needed. But that's not what we're seeing, folks. That's not what we're seeing. We're seeing some old data. We're seeing some science with some emotion on it and some politics with a narrative to close the fishery. You don't think I'm telling the truth? Well, here's how we know we're telling the truth. Because one of those committee members got so offended, or a couple of them, they lobbied the state to kick me off the committee. So they kicked me off the last meeting. I wasn't allowed to attend the 10th meeting. They kicked me off. The state of California gave my board 
the right to put somebody in my replacement, Reed Lampson did, a sportsman. He sat in my seat for the 10th meeting, and then the whole committee dissolved because people were offended about me telling the truth about people attacking our fishery. I'll tell you this, this is not the same government that we had 20 years ago fighting for you. People have infiltrated the department, people have infiltrated many power pieces, positions of power to advocate against your fishery, and now it's happening. Want more proof? Here's more proof. One of the individuals from the committee, Dr. John Rosenfeld, had to remove himself, recuse himself from the committee on number 10. He didn't show up for meeting 10. Why? Because his group, along with three other groups, filed petitions with California Endangered Species Act and the Federal Endangered Species Act in order to list the species. So that's what we're fighting now. Now we're fighting those petitions because not only are we working on long-term regulations for sturgeon right now, trying to follow the best available science and what's responsible for all of you to go out and harvest without hurting the population for the future. That's what we're working on. But now on top of that, we have all these listings and those listings are now possibly our demise. Those listings could shut us down forever. It could turn into a catch and release fishery only. It could turn into closure forever. But this is what happens when you go and you start advocating for sturgeon stuff at a commission level that you don't know what you're talking about. And that's what some of these individuals did and they awoke a sleeping giant and now environmental groups are behind it and they're trampling down on our community. And it's not right.